XP spectrum provide two sets of information very very important video one type of information available on the y-axis this is basically called intensity CPS basically mean count per second here the XPS detector basically counting the photoelectron as well as the OJ electron the OJ electrons are here and these are basically the photo electrons the second type of information available on x axis here in the form of binding energy look at here on x axis we also call e position binding energy or energy on the y axis we basically call peak intensity and we also call shapes or we call count it if we look into the xps spectrum so this is basically the survey spectrum survey spectrum because we know from here that the energy range is basically from 0 to 1200 electron volt if we see this range or if we see from 0 to 1400 electron volt so this means the spectrum is basically survey spectrum the second important identification is basically the peaks are basically convoluted here we know 3d is basically making doublet 3p is also making doublets 4p is also making doublets but we do not see here doublets here this means that the spectrum is basically survey spectrum so now let's discuss in detail that what the x-axis of the xp spectrum provides the x-axis video is also called peak position yeah this is basically the peak position see this is the peak so we also call it peak position this is very very important here and the peak position is basically the binding energy or simply we call it energy and we can also draw this graph in the form of kinetic energy but the kind here the binding energy increases from towards the left here so the kinetic energy scale will goes like this this is basically the kinetic energy scale so this is you can also write here the kinetic energy right so on x axis we have the peak position binding energy energy on kinetic energy so it is very very important from this binding energy we identify that what type of elements exist this is very important this binding energy is just like the fingerprint like the fingerprint is explained from fingerprints we identify humans so from this binding energy from the peaks binding energy we identify that what type of elements exist that is basically called qualitatively and this is very simple but beyond this we can also identify there what is the oxidation state oxidation state of that elements oxidation state mean from this peaks when this peaks shifts toward the left and right so we clearly says that the oxidation state is increasing or decreasing similarly what is the chemical environment the chemical environment mean whether here is oxygen whether it is making bond with the carbon with the nitrogen with the fluorine so this kind of information also we get from this binding energy from x axis video right because from this here again the oxidation state is changing because of the electronegativity here if the electronegativity of this neighboring element is higher so it will pull more electron from the oxygen and here this will become deficient in electrons so when the oxygen become deficient in electrons so the remaining electron will be attracted more toward the nucleus and the binding energy will increase and we will see shift in the peak toward this side toward the higher binding energy and vice versa now let's discuss the y-axis the y-axis basically the peak intensity very important intensity is basically peak intensity is basically talk about the quantitatively quantitatively mean how much is there that particular uh, elements so if the area under the intensity is higher more so that element exists in more and greater amount if the intensity is small and it is very thin here so this means that the, the, the element exists in fewer less amount there right so the, the intensity is very very simple so this talk about the shape here yeah if the shape is a big here big shape so this means that element exists in greater form so if they make small shape here or uh, like uh, the thin here the full width maximum is very low so this means that the, the element exists in less amount here so this is why this is we are so called shape here another is the y axis is also called counted basically the more electron is detected by the xps from that particular shell from b shell from uh, f shell or from p shell so we will have a uh, higher peaks here 
And I want to mention that uh, we most of the case we see higher intensity from P orbital, from F orbital, from B orbitals because they contain more number of electrons, right? So basically, the y axis are called counted. Basically, the XP is detected. They, 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 they separate the, uh, the, the the signal, the electrons in the form of energy, in the form of uh, count. So because of these two, we get the XP spectrum. So let's read it here. The peak intensity basically determine the concentration. You see here, the concentration of the chemical elements. Yeah. For example, if we have iron uh, oxide here, so it will tell us that what is basically the, 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 the concentration of iron and what is the concentration of oxygen here, right? This is very important. That it shows that how much amount of the specific elements exist on the surface because XPS is just working up to 10 nanometer surface not into micrometer surface right so on the surface so basically it display the total number of electrons counted are detected per second i hope it is clear now please subscribe my channel